Good morning. Today, I'm wearing a very contrasting outfit from the last um, video because I'm gonna paint. So I thought I would showcase my outfit. These are some donated clothes from my dad. If you can see. This is my designated um, painter's outfit. Shirt is from the expensive wardrobe of Mark Bourne. He donated it because it's got a massive rip in it. So, yep. And then these pants. <laughs> I'm gonna take you painting with me today. Okay, so I'm currently in my workshop. Just kidding, it's my garage. Um, thought I would do a little art lesson so you can go out and buy supplies and do something different than sitting on the couch and watching Vampire Diaries like I've been doing. Um, so yeah. A 19.7 times 27.6 not that that really matters but a canvas and I got this from like the two dollar shop but it wasn't two dollars but I mean it's way cheaper than going to like a legit art store because it's supposed to be a two dollar store waffling so much and just talking so much I think I get that from my dad like I just keep talking like I'm sure a lot of the details people don't really care about but you know not had any social interaction so this is really exciting for me um yeah so open the canvas ah so i basically oh. we went to a art workshop thing at art riot which is like this australian art where you can buy art supplies and they do like workshops sometimes um, and um, this kind of method called I flow acrylic which is I'll show you an example so this is like the first piece a pretty cool first piece to do I'm getting like butterfly wave marble kind of vibes from this yeah and like you might think oh it's it's it looks pretty good for a first piece or maybe you're an art pro and you're like oh this is not that great but like it's super easy for anyone to do which is why I, I've been doing it still otherwise if it was hard I probably would have just given up but that part is choosing the colors just subtly showing my showing off my art yeah, because it like moves around a lot even when it when it dries so so yeah I'll show you after the paint like kind of flows off it kind of just dries like this and then you can actually just well this one's already kind of peeled off but you can just kind of just peel it off which I think is pretty cool I think some people would do stuff with this but I kind of just throw it away because I've because I have nothing to do with it but yeah, this is my art table. It's kind of small, but I'm just playing around really. I have, I don't know why I co collected this. I have a whole box of pins, which in hindsight was like a blessing for me to somehow collect before because, because it flows off and becomes like that sticky thing. Um, you don't put a, what do you call it a uh, thumbtack or pin pin thing um if you don't put that at the bottom of your canvas to like kind of give it a level up off the table when it dries your canvas will stick to the table which is okay because you can still take it off but like it um it, it's just easier if you use like this to like get it off the the table so yeah that's a cool tip Bing's tips so there's no like, um, this is not a human cage. This is for when my puppies come back, they sleep in there. It used to be my husky's um, 
cage when we lived in Beijing because I had a husky called Nanook. Um, but yeah, so it's for dogs. Don't worry. This is Nanook, by the way. Hammer? With a towel on it? I don't know who put the towel on there, but... Actually, I might take the towel off. That's kind of stupid. And watch your fingers. So I just kind of hit it flush. Step two. Step one, get your canvas out. Step two, nail your pins. This is the canvas elevated. Can you see? Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so next, up, next hard step is to choose what colors you want to use um art riot they do a sale like i don't know i think they always do sales so like their paints end up being a lot cheaper the most expensive thing though is the the medium the pouring medium pouring medium four liters i think this is like usually 200 dollars, which is a lot of money but um when it's on sale it's like 124 which is still a lot of money but i guess use my money on stupid things like this. Next thing is, these are the kind of paints that you use. So it's high flow acrylic. And see, this is the this is the Art Riot logo. Can it focus? Yeah. So um, yeah, these are the paints. And then you can choose different colors um, because that will really determine like what your piece will look like. I usually generally go for like blues and greens because they look really nice and yellows but I feel like I should try and do like something different like maybe a black with something different so this is my box of paint stuff mm, is it just me or everyone's garage is always really 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 messy like mine is kind of just like my dad's random shit workshop and my mess and mess from our stuff that we brought back from China. But actually we still have like a sea container on the farm, which has all of our stuff that we haven't brought back to the house. So yeah. I, th I lost how I did a red. Maybe I'll do a really like a nice red black rose gold, which is like one of my favorite colors because it looks so nice and shimmery. Metallic rainforest. Metallic ocean blue. Nah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do blues today. Treasure. Ooh, it's yellow. It's like gold. Carbon black. That's what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna do a. I'll probably use carbon black. Maybe I'll use. Yeah, I'll use treasure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. What else? Here's my rose gold. It does. It kind of looks shit in the box, but I mean the bottle. But it's it's actually really nice. Okay. So. <clears throat> it's red. Where's my red color? Naphthol red. So black. These two rose gold maybe i should use an orange i feel like those would look, be good color combos oh a metallic silver actually i think i might get oh, i don't know i can't decide i also just pulled some paint off this like is it styrofoam surface and look how it's light on this side if only it could zoom in oh eyelash wish <sighs> And I also thought I might mention um, that, sorry if my edits are like not that good because I had to film everything on my iPhone and edit it all on my iPhone because my computer that I'm using now is like from 2012 or 2010 or something. My dad's old, old computer because mine's like broken. Um, and it doesn't even have iMovie. So like Apple tries to like make you buy all the new stuff. So I had to edit it all on my iPhone. So hopefully, it's not too terrible. Carbon black. Naphthol red. Um, treasure. Uh, the rose gold. I don't think I'll use the silver. Um, should 
should get a chair. Do some squats. E. Knives. Like all of this I got from the $2 shop. What I was taught in the lesson is that this is also some of the medium that I got from the $2 shop because I was like $124 I have to use a lot of it is like so I went to the $2 shop to find one I found this for $30 this is not four liters this is one liter for 29 so 30 times 4 120 it like ends up being the same but I find like the $2 shop this one is very watery so when it comes up the paint is very it's very different I was using the cheap, well, the cheaper one from uh, the $2 shop to be the base. So the reason why you pour this at the, the base first is because later on when you pour your colors on, um, for it to travel and spread around the canvas, it needs to have paint there. So it needs to be wet, basically. It needs to be wet so that the paint can like travel and move around. Um, so, so yeah, I generally use this. And some people use like hair dryers and stuff to like, blow the paint in a certain way or use straws or something so maybe i'll just put like a little bit of this stuff on not spread it everywhere but in the class they told you they told me to spread it everywhere like all the way until all the edges but the canvas is a bit smaller because it's dried paint <sighs> okay ouch oh, the one Okay, I just fill it up. So this is just like a regular cup. I kind of just fill it up to probably there, like 70, 65%. So because I've got four colors, I'm gonna do that four times. Or you could, yeah, four times. Hopefully I'll be able to use them all so I don't waste it. Ooh. I've done. Ugh. My colors combine my colors because basically this is kind of just like think of it as dye and then the medium is like the paint substance so you should shake it first but cover it so in case because this is really messy i have gloves that i usually wear but now i just can't be bothered like my nails are already disgusting so paint inside and i'll show you what it looks like so this is carbon black so i don't know how much you put i think you just put some drops you just go by how it looks so now i'm just like mixing it kind of like a bluish because the pouring medium is white and this is supposed to be a black dye it kind of looks blue for some reason i don't know why it's called carbon black if it comes up blue but i'll be doing a lot of um squatting because the camera is just not better. hopefully after this art lesson you can go and buy the supplies and do your own art as well lately i've been into art i don't know why i i follow a lot of um interior design and like art gallery for instagram pages and so I, a lot of the work is so nice but it's so damn expensive so whatever i'll just copy it and do it myself i can't copy but at least the this one the nina brun copy red that's like my artistic flair just changing the color it's just plagiarism at its best you know just change the name and i change the color and now it's mine. Mm. Enough. I think some of the paint has dried, so it's coming out really weird. Even though it's really nice and shimmery, you can't see it until it's in the sun. This is not very flattering. Okay. How about that? Does that look better? Anyway, that's what it's, it's supposed to shimmer. Oh, my knees. Oh getting my treasure color which i think is supposed to be gold like treasure x marks the spot treasure gold chest that makes sense okay so yeah oh my god this is so nice can you see Ooh. oh this lighting sucks oh the sun i didn't put sunblock on okay sorry my dad just called me now i've got all my colors the next thing I might do to make it flow a little bit better is put some of this clear pouring medium on the canvas. Just like that. Uh, Move it around. Oh. Some off. And I don't know if 
you can, you can see. But I can't be bothered to put it on the whole canvas. I just feel like it's a bit of a waste. I'll just like pour more in that dry area myself. So now we start pouring. And this is kind of like you can't really plan as much because it kind of just moves wherever it wants to move. You can, so the cells um, called silicon oil, which for me, it's like the same thing as treadmill oil. So if you have a treadmill and you have oil that you put on it to like make it work better or something, I don't know, put drops of silicon oil into this. And what it's supposed to do is create little cells inside of the paint in the when you pour it. But normally what I do is I just put silicon um, like on the piece afterwards. If you mix two colors together, um, they, it doesn't mix. What's an example? Blue and yellow make green. So if you put blue and yellow together, it actually won't make green. It'll just stay separated but mixed together so it has a really good look. So I've just like put two of the colors together. So if I pour it, I'll show you what it looks like. This is the carbon black and the treasure gold color. If you can see, it looks really nice. What you do then is you kind of just play and have fun. So I might not talk for this part and just do it because I talk too much and I get distracted. Thanks, Dad. So this is what I've got right now. It's kind of very messy. looking now. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands because it's really messy. I hope you can see that because I'm not aware. I can't really see what my phone is looking at. Yeah. I think I might put some silicon, just some silicon oil. Um, and I got this off some website in WA because silicon oil at the art store is always sold out. So I'm just putting a little few drops because eventually the paint is like still moving. And I might put some here too because this is a bit boring as well. So I'm just putting a little bit. This is the most coolest but most dangerous part. I have this kind of torch thing that I use to get rid of all the air bubbles. I don't know if you can see, but there are some air bubbles there. I got this from, my dad got this from Bunnies. Fire. It gets rid of the air bubbles. I don't know if you can really see the effect, but I have to do it kind of further away and lightly. First time I did it, I actually made a hole in my canvas. But this is what the cells look like. Can you see that part? That is the silicon oil. Magic. A little bit more personality, which we love. Now, I would say it's the final product, but it's not really because it will still move a lot. But this is what it looks like. I'll probably take a picture and try to insert it. So these are the cells. I didn't put any silicon here, so I don't know what this dot stuff is doing, but it looks cool. It's the final piece. Yeah. Hopefully less waffling and less annoying staring at content talking about politics. I'm not a political person, but um, I guess all this stuff about the stuff about the virus is getting me worked up. I had a lot to say about it. And if you really like this video, maybe the next one, a friend suggested an idea that maybe I'll get Papa to do one as well.